and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about JWT authentication in .NET Core Web API. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, while developing a .NET Core Web API project, we may have came across a step where we needed to secure the APIs that we created so that they could only be accessed by authenticated users. JSON Web Token, abbreviated as JWT, is a popular way of authenticating .NET Core Web APIs. So, JSON Web Tokens is an open source industry standard RFC 7519 for transmitting data securely between parties in the form of JSON objects. The main advantage of using a JWT are that it is important, more impact and therefore has a smaller size. It is secure and can use a shared secret between an issuer and a consumer. It uses the JSON format. Almost every programming language has a JSON parser, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So JSON Web Tokens has three parts, header, payload, signature. Okay, now let's start with the header. The header is a combination of two parts, type of token, which is JWT, the signing algorithm that is being used such as RSA or SHA-256. So here's example. So the second part of the JSON Web Token is payload, which contains claims. Claims are some information about the user, example, user ID, email, username, etc. So here's example. The third part, signature, validates the sender's authenticity. Signature is created by encoding the header, payload, a secret, and the algorithm defined in the header. So here's an example. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are a startup hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. So let's now configure JSON Web Tokens authentication with a .NET Core 8 Web API project. So I'm going to install this package Microsoft.ASP.NET-Core.Authentication.JWT Bearer. So I have to install this here package. After the package is installed successfully, we need to configure the authentication service in the program.cs file. So that will configure the JWT authentication. So here's example. This code will configure the JWT authentication in the .NET Core Web API. It sets the default authentication as JWT and sets up JWT using the JWT secret. This code configures the JWT authentication handler and it specifies the authority that will issue the JWT tokens. The token validation parameters property can be used to specify additional validation rules for JWT tokens such as the validate audience flag which determines whether the audience claim in the token should be validated. It uses a JWT underscore secret that is added in the application settings.json. So the next step is to add a section in your application settings.json file as look like this. You can configure app settings separately for development and production version of your project. Now let's write a functions that generate a web JSON web token, create a folder and name it helpers. Inside this folder, create a file, call it authhelpers.cs and write this code. This function will generate a JSON web token. In the claims, I usually add user ID and username. You, we can add more details to the claims like username, roles, etc. The generated token will expire in 30 days. Okay, now the next step is in program.cs file, add this line of code enable authentication for your API. This line should be added before the following lines app.use authorization, app.map controllers, and app.run. This will enable the JWT authentication handler for all requests to your API. So the last step is to require authentication for a specific router controller. Use the authorize attribute like this. This will require a valid JWT token to be present in the request in order to access the controller or its action. That's it. You should now have JWT authentication configured in your .NET Core 8 Web API.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learn how you can configure JWT authentication in your .NET Core Web API project. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.